Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about this kind of problem. We have 40% of 60. Again, 40% of 60. Yung pinaka reason bakit ako gumagawa ng video katulad dito, though nagawan ko na siya sa Facebook page, dahil meron tayong isang follower sa TikTok na kung saan, ang tanong niya, Sir, paano ba tayo mag-multiply ng mga percentages ng merong zero? Dahil ang alam niya lang daw is kino-convert yung percentage into decimal tapos multiply by the 60. So, try natin. Yung alam niya kasi ginagawa natin na normal na ginagawa natin dito, yung unang step natin or method natin, yung normal lang, conventional, is that itong 40% natin, we need to convert this into decimal, which is, we need to multiply this or we need to move two decimal places, 1 and 2, and the equivalent decimal of this 40% is 0 0.4. And after natin ma-convert yung 0 0.4, we will multiply it by 60. So we have 60 times 0 0.4. So pag multiply natin siya, ang magiging sagot natin is what? Ang magiging sagot natin is simply equal to 24. So try natin eh. Convert muna natin or multiply muna natin. We have... 60 times 0 0.4 So, 4 times 0, which we have 0 4 times 6, we have 24 Then, 0 times 0 is 0 0 times 6 is 0 And then, add natin to We have this 0 4 And 2 And then, bibilangin natin number of decimal places We have 1 decimal place That's why Nilagyan natin dito yung decimal natin so, one decimal point. And then, yung 24.0 natin as an answer is also equivalent to 24. So, yun yung conventional way na tinutukoy ng ating subscriber. Now, paano naman yung technique natin dito, yung na nakita niya sa isang video natin na katulad nito? Okay? Na kinakancel natin yung zero. So, itong 40%. So, we have 40%. So, we have 40%. Of... 60, ang ginagawa natin dito, kung mapansin nyo, ba? yung percentage natin is divisible by 0, or by 10. So, what we need to do here is, nagka-cancel tayo ng 0. Dito rin, maka-cancel natin 0, and then we will multiply this by each other. We have 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. And as you can see, yung sagot natin na magkabilang method, using the conventional way of Converting the percentage into decimal is the same with our solution. Pero sir, uh, dyan lang ba siya laging applicable? Hindi po. Let's try this example. So we have here this example na kung saan, ito siya. Tayo natin different examples. In example number 2, we have 70% of 60. So sir, paano uli yan? Paano na, uli natin ginagawa dyan? Actually, Nag-move, yung pagka-cancel natin ng 0 dito, parang nag-move lang tayo ng 1 decimal point. So, try natin ha. We have to cancel this one. Cancel this one. We know that 7 times 6 is equal to 42. So, 42 ang magiging sagot natin dyan. Okay? So, let's move on with item number 3. We have 20% of 18. Eh, sir, paano po ito? Yung 18 natin is not divisible by 10. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. So, what we need to do here sa 20% is i-cancel lang natin yung 0. So, it will give us 2. Ito naman, since hindi siya divisible by 10, mula dito, mag-move lang tayo ng 1 decimal point. So, as you can see, meron tayong 1.8. So, it will go like this. Multiply natin sa ng dalawa. That is like 2 times 1.8. And knowing that 2 times 1.8 is equivalent to 3.6. Ibig sabihin nito guys, that the 20% of 18 is equal to 3.6. Now let's move on with the next example. We have 30% of 150. Okay, 30% of 150. Ito, 30%, cancel natin yung 0. Ito, you can cancel 0 ha. Pwede nyo cancel 0 para maging 15. Pero gamitin natin yung method natin dito. From this point, mag-move lang tayo na 1 decimal point and that is 15. So it will become... 3 times 15. Nagyan natin dito, 3 times 15. 
So, 3 times 15 is equivalent to 45. Ibig sabihin yun, guys, that the 30% of 15 is equal to 45. So, sir, paano natin ma-check yan? Ganyan yung conventional method, convert it to bilang 0 0.3 and then multiply by 150. O kaya, alam naman natin, di ba, na ang 10% ng 150 is 15. Eh, ilang 10% ang meron tayo sa 30%? Tatlo. So, parehas lang siya na 3 times 15. So, I hope na nakuha nyo guys yung method natin on how to do this kind of cancellation thing kapag nakita nyo divisible by 0 ang inyong percentage. Now, it's short term to answer this problem. We have 60% of 25. So, please comment down below. Kung ano ba yung mismong sagot natin dito. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!